Hi garden friends, happy weekend. So a few days ago, I was at my local grocery store and I passed through the floor department and I saw this super cool succulent plant that I don't have in my garden and I got it for a steal. They were all discounted <laughs> and um, I, I only took it for $4. But even if it wasn't at, um, at a discounted price, I would have still taken one home. Um, this is my first time with this type of succulent and I have here the label and I'll show it to you. It's a zygo cactus and it says it has thick succulent leaves and large double sect flowers. It likes bright light, mild temperatures and if you're going to keep it outdoors, it says to shade it from the sun. It likes moist to drier soil and it's an annual bloomer and it blooms between October and December or October through December I should say and since it's considered a soft succulent it says to protect it from freezing temperatures and it has a picture there of the bloom so it's a bright red with like a white center oh, and there it is right here oops let me zoom it in right there so it's a juicy bloom there that it has and I'm excited about this plant because since it says it grows like stacked, like tall, oh, what it's going to end up doing, it's going to start trailing down because it'll get top heavy eventually and it'll have that cascading effect that I just, I love trailing plants. So I bet this would look beautiful like in a hanging basket or a super tall planter where it can just grow nice and long. Oh, I love it. But I'm going to be planting it in a terracotta pot that I have here. And this is, this is like a four inch, four inch plant right here. I mean, it is super healthy. Check that out. That's a pretty big four inch plant there. And this right here, it, it's my dirty terracotta pot. Um, this is probably at like a six inch and I will fill it with soil and I'll kind of leave like a quarter space there. Make my well. And I'll take this out of its pot and I'll just squeeze it from the bottom there and just take it right out. And it has a super um, healthy root system there. And I'm not really gonna mess with it. It's a little root bound, so I'll kind of like just play with the bottom a little. And I'll take some of that top soil, that old soil in the top off. Just a little there. Okay. And I'll bring my terracotta pot into the center here where you can see it and I'll take get this out of the way put it over here and let's see okay I'll just put this right in the center and I'll make my well a little deeper and I'll try to fit it right in oh wow that is just so beautiful you can't really see the pot anymore but it fit right into my well and now I'm pressing it down very gently and I'll fill it all the way to the top. All the way to the rim. And I should have put my tripod a lot taller so you would have been able to see what I'm doing because now you're just focused on the top of the plant there. <laughs> but um, I filled it with soil all the way to the top and I will finish it off with some stones. I think it'll look very nice. Just press them down there. I'm going to turn this baby around. And I am excited to watch it grow. And this is gonna blast off. I mean, with all these blooms, look, there's, there's so many of them. I mean, gosh, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so there's, there's about 40 blooms just developing there. And I will for sure take a photo of it and post it on Instagram. Because it's going to look magnificent, glorious. I think that these are also called Christmas cactus or Easter cactus. If anyone has experience with these and knows the difference between the Christmas cactus and the Easter one, oh man, shoot me a comment or a DM. I'd love to know more about these plants, but oh, I know this was a very simple short video, but hey, garden time is important, right? We all need a little bit of that. Hope you enjoyed this video and hey, if you are at a Ralph store, <laughs> grocery store, check if they still have these for sale. Anyways, until next time, bye garden friends.